Hi Sagittarius, this is your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so Sagittarius, for the month of September, you guys had a jumping card. And that card is lies, lies, lies. Okay, so someone is unavailable in another relationship or emotionally unavailable. So I feel like you guys could be dealing with someone who only wants to see you when they have time. So you may be trying to um, meet up with this person, go out, talk to them, just, you know, spend some time with them. But they always seem unavailable. And then it's like they call you out of the blue wanting to talk or wanting to get together with you. You know what I'm picking up on, Sagittarius? I'm also channeling a message for you guys that this person calls you and they'll talk to you for like 15 minutes and then they're done and they're like, oh, I'll call you back. And then you don't hear from this person again or they text you a couple of lines, they talk to you and then that's it. You won't hear from this person again for another like couple of days or a week or so i'm feeling like yeah this is what someone is doing to you and you're fed up with it okay i'm picking up the energy that you're tired of this person only wanting to spend time with you when it's convenient for them is what i'm getting here so we also have lies again secrets Okay, pathological liar. They lie to you on a regular basis. It's best to let them go. We also have hidden feelings. Something is bothering them, but they are choosing to stay quiet about it. So I feel like for some of you, the person that you're interested in, and this is not your energy, Sagittarius. This could be for your partner if they're cross-watching. So take the messages how they resonate. But I'm picking up the energy that someone is hiding the fact that they're going through something with a third part, um, a third party. But they, it's like they come around you, but when they come around you, they're, they may be angry or they um, they seem like their mind is somewhere else and they're not really, they're not really there. It's like their body is there, but their energy is somewhere else and their mind is somewhere else. So they could be thinking about someone else or they're going through something with someone else and they're lying about it to you or they know they can't tell you because they have you in a third party situation. So they really can't discuss this with you. So we have um, living in the past. Could be they haven't gotten over an ex or something from the past is affecting your union. Um, yeah, I'm telling you. That's what I'm picking up on. Something that your partner is going through with someone from their past, they're bringing that energy your direction. So it's like when you do see this person and you do talk to them, it's like they're not happy. They seem distracted. They seem distant and cold. And it's because they have a third party here and they could be going through something with this person. And so, like, if they're going through something with this other person, then they come your direction. But when everything is fine between them and that other person, then that's when you don't hear from them. Okay? So, this is somebody's story out here. Um, could be specific, but I'm picking that energy up. Now, we also have abuse, mental abuse. They gaslight you and or send mixed messages. Yeah, so this person is in and out of your life. Like, one minute, they want to be together with you. Like, I feel like for some of you... This person may tell you, okay, like, we're going to go out, we're going to spend some time, we're going to do something, or we're going to go away. And then, like, you have your heart and your mind set on that, and it never happens. And I feel like this person does that to keep you available, because they know that you are aware that something is going on here between them and someone else. You're aware of it, but you may not have, like, all the facts, but you know something is going on, something is not right. So I feel like they come in and they tell you things just to keep you there just to make sure that you don't leave. But I feel like you're getting like wise to this person. Are you already are wise to this person? Um, we have, they refuse to commit to anything or give you a straight answer. Yeah, manipulation. They like to manipulate the situation with you. We have superficial. They're all about the surface or appearances, not having much underneath. Right, okay. So whoever this person is that you guys are dealing with, I feel like they betray themselves as having a lot to other people outside but it's like you really know that this person doesn't have much like they may not even have a job they could be looking for a job but it's like because of how they dress or um how they make themselves seem people may think they have more than what they do but you could be actually helping this person out a lot is what i'm picking up on here okay you could be um you know like trying to offer them help until they get on their feet like if they're looking for a job 
or they're just falling on hard times. But I feel like they go outside and they sort of make themselves seem more than what they are or they may lie about what they have to other people and you know that they're doing this but they know that you are aware that they really don't have these things and that they're not on the level that they make people think they are yeah somebody it just has like a bad habit of um just making people think they have more than it's like they want to be something that they're not basically and they feel like this is how they'll be accepted in the world by making people think they have things that they don't like just being superficial we also have sneaky behavior sneaky internet behavior could be hiding porn secret account or lusting browsing the past they're lying about their past something worth looking into yeah I feel like for some of you who have just met someone new you may need to check this person out especially if you met them on the internet Okay, so if you met this person on the internet, they could be lying about their past, you know, and this card is saying this is something worth looking into because they may not be telling you the truth. They could be telling you that they don't deal with anyone, but they really do. Um, they could be telling you they don't have any kids or, you know, someone may be telling you that they're not married when they really are. But I feel like you're going to pick up on this energy, Sagittarius, because this person is not available all the time. And um, that was a jumping card for you. So that is the focus or something that the universe wants you to focus on when it comes to this person. Okay, because this card did jump the deck. If this person is not readily available to you, then there is definitely someone else in the picture. Their attention is somewhere else. And I feel like you're picking up on that this month um, and you're going to be acting accordingly. Some of you may even be walking away from this person or just not even um, giving them the time of day anymore because you are aware that they're doing this and you're tired of it. Okay, so let's jump into your reading and let's see what else the universe has to say about your partner and your situation spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius for the month of september what messages do you have something wanted to drop out all right so we have the six of swords some of you could be dealing with an air sign a libra a gemini or an aquarius and you're either moving away from this person or you have moved away or you're thinking about it you're thinking about escaping and going to safe it's like safe waters here do you see where this where the water is like really choppy on the side but if you look on the other side it's like really um heck what word am i looking for here it's just like it's it's like no waves there's no ripples in the water it's just serene right it's like you can actually see where you're going and i feel like this is how you guys are looking at the situation like you're leaving something behind that's just not beneficial for you but i feel like you've been with this person for quite some time sagittarius and this was a decision that was hard to make or it is a decision that's hard to make so you still are not really sure about what you want to do but this is what you're thinking about because um you feel like there's something else out there for you and it is it's definitely someone else out there for you especially if this person is lying they're cheating um they're unavailable all the time like yeah you don't have to put up with that spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius okay that wanted to pop out page of wands okay so you're gonna get a message from this person i feel like this person may um sort of feel you pulling away with this page of wands some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign such as yourself an aries a leo or a sagittarius and they may feel you pulling your energy away from them and i feel like this person is going to reach out to you this month if they haven't already or they may try to make themselves more available until things calm down to where as though they think that you know you're no longer upset with them or you're not moving on because i feel like this person feels you moving on they feel it spare what messages do you have for sagittarius what do they need to know uh, so you pulled your own card yeah balance patience like i feel like some of you have tried to have patience with this person you've tried to balance out this situation sagittarius and it may come for you but i feel like you're tired of waiting on it so it's like if it comes for you then you're like this person is going to have to come towards me and give me this attention because i'm not going to just sit around and wait for them anymore okay so it could be someone that's coming towards you um for some of you you could be dealing with another sagittarius but if not it's like you're waiting for this person to come towards you you're like i'm not going out of my way anymore to try to figure this out do anything different make this relationship work so we have the judgment okay major arcana so i feel like the universe is calling judgment on this person 
it's like it's a decision that's being made and it could be that you're walking away from this because you don't want to deal with it anymore now um depending on what card comes out next this could be second chances for some of you, okay? Maybe someone is realizing that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of their ways, their lies, you know, what they're doing. And someone may try to come in and fix the situation. Let's see what comes out. Spirit, what messages do you have? Uh, what did I say? <laughs> Depending on what card comes out next, Sagittarius. Someone may be trying to come back in and fix the situation. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And if so, they're going to decide to fix this, okay? Now, it could be any sign, but we do have the Eight of Pentacles here. This is someone who wants to work on a connection. And like I said, keep in mind, this person may feel you pulling your energy away. They're not crazy. They're like, well, wait, Sagittarius is not interested anymore. And if this is not you feeling this way, it could be your partner feeling this way, Sagittarius, if they're cross-watching. But somebody is like, okay, um, I'm feeling the energy of you moving away. So it's like they may try to come in and fix things. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know about their partner? And up. Oh, all right, give me one moment. Something fell on the floor. Wow. So we have the Ace of Swords and we have the Moon card. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. We also have Air here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's like you need clarity from this person. They've been lying. They've been keeping things in the dark. But the truth is about to come out. I'm telling you, this person, they are aware that you are aware of how they've been treating you and you don't like it. It's not fair. You're not putting up with it anymore. You're tired of their secrets. Some of you are aware that this person has a third party situation. And it's like you're demanding the truth from them this month or you're going to walk away and leave this person. Some of you could have left them already. I don't know. I just keep picking up the energy that some of you left this person already or somebody. Yeah, see, somebody is moving slow and they're being sneaky with the seven of swords. We have sneaky energy here. Now, someone could have left this situation, but they're coming back because with the seven of swords, you see how they had those two swords firmly planted in the ground. Okay, those two swords are firmly planted in the ground. They're looking back at them like, okay, I'm going to sneak off and do whatever it is that I need to do or want to do without this person knowing. And then I'm going to come back in. Like, that's how they're looking at the situation. And I feel like that's what this person is going to be doing if they feel like you're moving away from them. Now, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is someone wanting to bring you a solid offer, but they're dragging their feet. And I feel like they could be dragging their feet because... They don't want to settle down and commit. So I'm picking up energy here that you're looking for a commitment from this person, Sagittarius. And they're taking too long to bring you that. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sagittarius for the month of September. Sagittarius. What do they need to know? Let me just ask, why is this Knight of Pentacles here? What is this person feeling and thinking? Because somebody is coming in really slow here. But um, I feel like they're coming in with an offer to you, but it's like they're taking their time because they really don't want to settle down or they don't know if they want to settle down. So we have justice. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra or you're going to get justice with the situation. So if this person is coming in slow, Sagittarius, they're coming. They may just be coming a little too slow for your taste. And I'm telling you, it's going to be right when you walk away from this person. They're going to come in trying to offer you something and it's going to piss you off because you're going to be like... I'm ready to walk away. Yeah. See, the hangman, Pisces energy. Somebody is going to try to suspend the situation because it's like they're coming in slow. They're taking their time. But you could get new love. The universe could send new love in for you. And then this person comes and it's like the situation is on hold because you don't know whether to leave or stay. I just feel like someone you're dealing with, they play a lot of games. They play a lot of head games. And I feel like when it comes to this person, um, Sagittarius, you're going to have to put your foot down and set some boundaries here. So you may have to walk away from this person. Now, if you decide to return to them after they get themselves together or bring in more energy and effort to this connection, then that's okay. But I feel like now, like some of you are on your way out the door or you left already. 
because you just don't want to be manipulated and play this person's games anymore yeah with the three of wands some of you are waiting waiting around for this person to come through show you something different act different um tell you what their intentions are what do they want i feel like you've asked this person several times like do you want to be in this relationship and they're like yep and then they show you something totally different and you're like it's not even possible that you want to be in this connection when i ask you you say yeah but i never see you i feel like for some of you out there you never see this person and i'm not talking about the ones that have like an online connection i'm talking about like this person lives in the same state as you same area okay so we have the ten of swords here so there could have been an ending that's why i said i feel like some of you walked away from this person already with this ten of swords because you weren't feeling appreciated um air energy libra gemini aquarius and we also have fire here too so some of you could be dealing with another fire sign and you're sick of waiting on them and either you ended this situation or they did or you will because you feel like this person betrays you they stab you in the back they don't appreciate what you bring to the table i feel like some of you are really helping this person out or you helped them out in the past and it's it's really hurtful like you're really hurting behind how they're treating you because you're like i was there for you when nobody was like when you didn't have you know when you couldn't call on anyone and you didn't have anything and you know you needed somebody i was always there for you and now i feel like this person may have walked off to someone else spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius but that's okay don't worry about it sagittarius because you do have the justice card here so you're going to get justice in this situation, okay? So your karma is going to be good. Now, theirs, on the other hand, not so good, right? But that's not your problem. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know about their partner and this situation? I keep seeing the three of swords. Somebody is really heartbroken out there. Yeah, I keep seeing the Three of Swords and the um, Three of Cups. So this person could have had you in a third-party situation and you're heartbroken. And that's the third time I saw that when I was shuffling. I feel like some of you are done with this person mentally, but in your heart, you're not. You still love them, but it's like you can't take any more drama from them. Yeah, see? You're tired of offering this person love. I feel like some of you are dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And you keep trying to offer this person this cup, Sagittarius, but they don't know whether to take your cup or to continue dealing with this third-party situation that they're in. But there's going to be a new beginning. I feel like some of you have new love coming your way. It could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, though. This, you know, the Ace of Cups is all about abundance. You know, the universe is offering you a fresh start, a new beginning, because you've earned it. Yeah, some of you um, could be dealing with the cancer, with the chariot. If not, you know the direction that you want to go in, and that's the direction that you're headed this month. And guess what? It is going to bring you the Ace of Wands, okay? A passionate new beginning. So if you're stressed out because someone is, you know, being egotistical with the five of swords, you know, needing to win at all costs, just being really manipulative, stabbing you in the back, betraying you, you know, just back and forth. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it because they're going to get their karma. Some of you could be dealing with the king of pentacles, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, and you feel like this person is very self-centered. Now, like the King of Pentacles is known for bringing in stability. But I feel like for some of you, that's not happening. They may be offering this stability to someone else. But you see this person as being self-centered, slow-moving, um, stubborn, wanting to do what they want to do when they want to do it. But it's like they leave you feeling like this. And the next part after that is the devil. So some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn okay um or if not you know you're just in this toxic situation where you don't know i feel like some of you don't know whether you want to leave or stay because it's like if you leave this situation you're wondering like what else is out there for me like i've had situations in the past and they just didn't work out and i feel like some of you are tired of dating or you're just tired of the type of people that you're running into so you're losing hope and faith in dating i'm strongly picking up that message for some of you but um sagittarius you have a strong tie 
to someone and it may be toxic but you love this person and you want to stay with them but you just don't feel like you can you don't feel like you can stay with this person because it's like they're not playing fair okay and i'm also picking up the energy that when you walk away from this person or tell this person you're walking away they chase you they come after you and then when they think they have you they're right back to their games again we have the four of um wands here so this is twin flame energy some of you could be dealing with your twin flame um this is also the marriage card so some of you could be married and you're wondering like if your marriage is going to last if you're going to be able to work this out or if you're going to have to walk away from this situation to gain peace and clarity. Yeah, look at that. Right when I said to gain peace and clarity, we have the six of cups in reverse here. So you've known this person for quite some time and you don't want to give up on it. Whatever, whoever this is, this is for some of you, this person is not new. You've been in a relationship with this person for years or you've been married to them for years. And with this nine of swords, you're stressed out because this is worry, fear, anxiety, overthinking. And you're like, okay, I'm putting too much thought into this. Either I'm going to stay or I'm going to leave. And every time you get it in your mind that you're going to walk away, here they come trying to get you to stay. Okay. With this six of cups, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius with this um nine of swords but i feel like you're gonna go and you're gonna do what's best for you because some of you don't trust this person anymore with the nine of wands you've lost all faith and hope in this you don't trust them you feel guarded i feel like some of you you can't love this person the way you want it's like you want to show them love and attention but it's like every time you do it's like this person stabs you in the back and you're like i can't even show you love and attention because the five of the five of pentacles is it like they leave you out in the cold or they stop showing you attention? it's like when you show them attention then they stop showing you attention and for some of you this could be an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn but you're just burdened you're burdened by the situation with the ten of wands and you're ready to leave it behind you don't want to deal with it anymore you're like i don't want to deal with this situation unless it gets better and i feel like now you're coming to the conclusion that the only way that things are going to get better in this situation Sagittarius is that you have to make the change you have to step away from this um connection because otherwise whoever this person is they're going to continue to take you for granted because I feel like it's something that they're used to doing and it's like if they don't it's like this person sorry about the noise in the background i hate noisy dirt bikes it's like why just get a real motorcycle <laughs> okay sorry about that um but yeah i just feel like when it comes to this person they're so used to doing something and getting away with it that it's like they're they're not they're either not afraid to lose you or you haven't made this person be afraid to lose you and what i mean by that like it's like you haven't stepped away from this connection put your foot down and said i'm done with this and then mean it and hold off on it even if you go back to them it's like maybe that's something that you have to do sagittarius i mean we all have free will right we can do whatever it is we want to do you don't have to take my advice but my advice is like somebody is just it's like they're they feel like you'll always be there so how they're treating you it's like they're not going to change their behavior unless you change yours okay is what i'm seeing here so those are the messages that i have for your love and relationship reading i just want to say thank you for coming to my channel like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lie tarot i'm also on tiktok at the Empress 522 so you can follow me there and I will see you guys next month. Bye.